What you guys got another video here for you. This version of Windows 11 is absolutely awesome. Now, the creator of this has done a really good job. It's called Windows X Lite, which has been created by James. And uh, we're going to take a look at it in this video. So when you head over to their website and uh, take a look at some of the flavors they have to offer, they've got Windows 10 builds and they also have Windows 11 builds. Now inside the Windows 11 build section, you can see there's quite a few different flavors to choose from and uh, depending on what your needs are. So make sure you go through and read all of the necessary information inside here because they do have quite a few different variants here. And the good thing I like about these particular ones is they allow you to either have a completely stripped out version of Windows 11 or you can have a more usable Windows 11. So we're going to take a look at the Windows X Lite Neon Rapture version here. And uh, this does give you the option during the installation process to choose whether you want to have Windows Defender enabled or disabled. So you can choose that option during the installation process. As you can see here, it gives you a full breakdown of what's been removed and what's been updated and stuff like that right in the list here. So that's very useful for people that want to know exactly what it can do and what it can't do. Four gigabyte install size here, optional Windows Defender install, which we've already covered, uh, includes optional system transparencies, cursors, themes, all that sort of good stuff here. Some uh, other stuff has been removed. You can fully go through this list here yourself. Again, what I like about it is uh, it gives you an option to run this on a pretty low end system because I'll show you the, in this video that we're running this in a virtual machine and we're literally running it on two gigabytes of RAM. It also bypasses all the TPM, secure boot, RAM and CPU and storage checks. Uh, also, you're not forced to join uh, Microsoft's account. It's already been disabled. So when you're installing, you can just put this onto an old system that's not on the required system recommendations list. Gives you some information here about the build and also about the installation and how you can go about doing it. They've also got a software page and guides. Now, when it comes to the downloads bit, I will cover this a little bit later on. But first, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor. CD key sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or a Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description, click on those, and then head over to this site, create an account, and use my promo code capital B capital R09 and apply that to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases. Once you've done that, head over to the activation center and activate your version of Windows. So, this is the Windows X Lite. Uh, Neon Rapture. We're at the desktop here. Looks pretty awesome. All the themes can be changed on this. And uh, we've got the start button that's been changed. We have that transparent taskbar there that looks pretty nice. Uh, the start menu has also been changed. And uh, you can see right inside here, all the icons have been changed. It looks really nice. And uh, going down here, we've got some options available to us like search and also Winero Tweaker firewall on and off and also print spooler on and off and windows update service on and off if you want to toggle these on and off you can do by just clicking on these right here which is a nice added bonus again i do like the overall look of the start menu here going into the settings pane here all of the settings have been pre-tweaked on this for you so you don't have to go through here you can see windows isn't activated which is a good sign which means they haven't cracked it uh, which is a very good thing because obviously once you start doing that, you're going to go down uh, the rabbit hole of having a dodgy version of Windows. Uh, coming inside here, we do have the stats. You can see Windows 11 Pro 22H2 version and also the build version here, which is important. That means it's pretty updated. And uh, you can use Windows updates on these, but they have been paused. Uh, but you can re-enable them. You can download uh, updates manually and install them that way if you want to. I went with the Windows security option to be added in, but there is a version where you can have this ripped out if you want super lightweight uh, version of Windows. I'm going to do a full scan of this computer just to make sure there is no nasties hidden in here. So let's go ahead and we'll run a full system scan of this uh, right here, and I'll leave that running in the background. So we do have Windows Defender on here, but again, you can opt for that to be removed during the installation process, which is a nice added bonus, gives you the options. So going through, we can see there's a bunch of different settings inside the privacy and security here. A lot of this stuff has been turned off. You might find the odd thing here that can be uh, disabled. 
So a lot of the privacy and security settings have been disabled already. So you don't have to go in here and manually turn all this stuff off like inking and typing, personalization, uh, speech general, and also inside the diagnostics and feedback. A bunch of other things like location has been disabled, um, things like that. So yeah, that's all been done for you. So you ain't got to worry about that. There is the odd couple of things I noticed that are still enabled, like notifications here that's still turned on. Uh, but you can easily toggle this off. Very straightforward and easy to do here if you don't want these on. So coming on down uh, to the actual Windows updates area, you can see updates have been paused up until 2nd of the 1st, 2099. You can resume this if you want to. But I should imagine the reason why they've turned this off is because they don't want any changes to the operating system. But you can uh, pause feature updates and uh, completely pause that and leave the security updates to come down. Uh, rather than just completely block everything. But I suppose they are geared towards gaming where they don't want to be pestered with updates whatsoever. But the problem is it means you're not going to receive any security updates either. And the other reason is because if you do a feature update, it's going to change the uh, way the operating system looks. Again, because you've made changes to the actual operating system. You can see all the icons have been changed. I do like the look of these icons. Looks pretty nice. There's probably a lot of work that's gone into this to change a lot of this stuff. It does look pretty nice the way it works. Again, it's the same as you would get with any sort of Windows 11 operating system, all your tabs and everything else. Put your color icons up here as well. And moving on down, your desktop icons have been changed. And there is some other areas inside here which allows you to add certain features back in. For instance, if you want the Windows Store added back in, you can do. And by clicking on this, I'll show you that in a little bit later. Going into the app section, you see all these have been removed. There's hardly anything inside here. So it has been debloated quite a bit as well. And going on to the Xlight tools here, this takes you into the tool section where you can add desktop shortcuts here, enable virtual memory. If you want to add and fix Xbox sign in, you can do. It's got some guides in here and a bunch of other stuff, which I'll go through some of these in a second. I'll show you in more detail. But you've got browsers inside here as well. Change your username. And also you can see Tiny Firewall there has also been added. And there's some wallpapers in there as well. Let's quickly go into the start button here. And what we're going to do here is we'll go into the search and go to control panel. You can see the control panel. And all these icons have been changed as well here. Let me go full screen here and show you what it looks like. It looks pretty nice. Done a pretty good job there. I do like the look of that. And, uh, you know, it looks better than what Microsoft doing, to be honest with you. So a pretty good job from uh, the creator here. And you can go into here and you can see Start All Back has been installed. And we can also see Ultra UX Theme Patcher here. And that's where they've changed the theme of operating system. And, uh, you know, that's been installed so they can manage to get all the icons and stuff changed here. So you can see here also inside the update section for the updates for Windows, you can see servicing uh, stack. It's got the version there and also update from Microsoft Windows. And again, you can add in the .NET framework if you want to. If you want to add in that 3.5 version, you can do. You can download other versions and install those manually yourself. You can see here, let Windows updates download these files for you. You can still use that method. It will still work even though it's been paused. So if you want to enable that, you can just click on this here and it will download it from the Microsoft server and install them into the computer itself. And uh, again, it's not going to change the fact that you are under the paused Windows update section here. That's not resumed that at all. So you can still go ahead and do all of that. So who is this particular Windows version for? I guess if you're on an older system uh, that doesn't meet the Windows 11 system requirements, then you can use something like this. And you can also use the legitimate version from Microsoft and bypass it that way if you want to go down that route. But a lot of people do love these heavily modded uh, versions of Windows. And again, most fear for people is if there's embedded malware or backdoors into them so i'm going to do a full system scan on this one and hopefully we get a clean bill of health but we'll go through here and take a look at the uh, section here for wallpapers there is some themes and wallpapers you can use here and i'll quickly show you those in a second but yeah so it's just going to depend on what your needs are and whether you want to go down this route of using a version of windows like this i do think a lot of work's gone into this and it looks pretty nice if you're looking for a heavily modded 
uh, ISO, which has had all the bloat taken out of it, then something like this might be for you. Let's go ahead and quickly change some of these themes up here so you can see what they look like. And again, these themes are all pre installed on the build itself, so you don't have to go looking for them. They're all there. All you need to do is go into your personalization and change them up, and they will uh, enable like this. And you can just basically uh, enable which one you like. And uh, there's quite a few to choose from here. Looks pretty awesome, if you ask me. Uh, a lot of work's gone into this, but it looks fit. This is more of your Windows look if you want to go down that route. Again, that looks pretty nice as well. And uh, I do like the neon build, I must admit. It does look pretty, it's growing on me. And uh, I like the way uh, that looks. This is more of your white background. I think the white backdrop, as you can see here, no dark theme here on there. If you like the dark theme, you can go for that one as well. Okay, so that is the theme section. Let's quickly check the scan from uh, Windows Defender here to see whether it's detected any sort of malicious uh, files inside here. And uh, you can see here, after doing a full deep scan on the system, you can see there was no threats found, which is a good sign. Uh, so that is the scan done by Windows Security. And uh, that is the full scan that I did here on that system. Again, I can't validate any of this stuff because I never created it. I'm just showing you the best way I can, uh, you know, with the scan results here. That's all I can do. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at the system resources and utilization of this. Now, remember, we are installed into a virtual machine here. So that's going to impact it a little bit here. But also, I have been running scans and stuff, so it's going to change a few things. But you can see here the RAM we're using here is only two gigs of RAM. We installed this on a two gig system of RAM and it's still running very, very smoothly and uh, pretty low RAM usage here. And also uh, the utilization is pretty good too. So only 51 processes here. So pretty decent if you ask me for a build like this. So if you're looking for something that doesn't use a lot of resources and you've got a pretty much an old potato computer, then something like this is going to help you in the sense of using less resources and you can run it on lower uh, memory systems. So if you haven't got a lot of memory, you can still run this Windows 11 build. Inside here, you can see all the icons have been updated here. You can go through here and use these to change. I just want to quickly show you uh, some of the other things that you can do, like adding in some extra features, like say the Windows Store, if you need it, He's added all the files in here for you to just quickly click on and install them if you need access to the Windows Store. Let me quickly show you how we can go about doing that. There's some registry tweaks in here as well. So if you want to add the snap bar back in or disable it, you can do here. But let me go ahead and quickly go into the UWP apps here. And there is a bunch of little things here that you can add back in if you want to, like a... Uh, you can see here we've got the snipping tool and also we've got the Windows Store. So let me go ahead and add the Windows Store in just in case you needed it. And uh, we'll click on this and it will go ahead and install the Microsoft Store onto the computer. And there we go. It's all working perfectly fine. So you've got the option to add these uh, programs back in if you want to. And it's working just fine. So if you do need that, then there is a way of putting it back onto the system. OK, so let's talk about the negative side of uh, these builds. Now, what you have to remember is this is Microsoft's operating system. And when they roll out updates, it will change things. And that's just the nature of the beast. It's their, their code, their operating system. And when you roll out updates on this, it will change. Feature updates are going to change the way it looks. And you're never going to be able to lock that in unless you pause updates. And that's probably the reason why they pause updates. Gamers do like to pause updates because they don't want to be pestered. If you're one of them people that doesn't do anything like banking or anything like that online, where you're putting any sort of sensitive information out over there, then they're probably saying uh, to themselves that I can pause the updates. It doesn't really matter to me. I don't keep any sort of mission critical files on here. So if it has to be reinstalled, it doesn't really matter. If you're one of them types of people, then I should imagine you should be okay. If you're not really bothered about any of that stuff, then by all means. But if you're one of the people that uses it as a main system, and uh, disabling stuff and not having an, any sort of antivirus on here. That's a big risk in 2023. Although Windows Defender doesn't block ransomware, you still need some sort of protection. There is a really bad uh, part of this, which I think is quite a bad letdown, James, and you probably need to 
fix this, and that is your download links here. They are linked to sites that yield a lot of money for adverts, but also you don't have no control of what adverts are being pumped out. And some of these are uh, adult content being pumped out here as well. Some of the links on this site are shady at best, and uh, you know they're going to infect your browser, and it's not a cool look for yourself. So if you're trying to get your name out there with cool little builds that you're doing like this, then this is not the way forward. You need to change that because there's not a lot of people that are going to want to download it via uh, these links anyway. And if they do, I know they yield a lot more uh, ad revenue for you, but it's not a good way because you can see uh, my antivirus is blocking them and uh, it's trying to get you to click on the allow so they can add more crap and download more stuff to your browser and that's what you don't want there was even adult content that popped up in the browser which is not good and again if you're trying to put this across as a legit build that's clean and everything else then having those links in your videos on your website is just going to basically make people think that it's got laced with malware and other nasties so if you are that type of person you didn't know that then by all means you need to change that otherwise it's just going to reflect badly on yourself and just so you know those sites are known for those uh internet scams where they pop up and tell you that you're infected they use those particular sites as well to pump those out and they end up making a lot of money from scamming people so you're going to be linked to that so for that reason i have to give this a thumbs down for that particular links to that site my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this video has been some sort of use to you and you enjoyed it uh, by all means let me know in the comment section below what you actually think, and I'll be happy to read your comments. Have a lovely weekend, and I'll sure catch you in the next video. Bye for now.